Bienvenue and welcome to Hungary. Grace, someone wants to talk to me? This can't be Grace. I am in agony. <laughs> Every step that I take now. Mesdames et Messieurs, Mesdames et Messieurs, Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. If you're new to this channel, my name is Half Turn. No, I'm sorry, I've been living a lie. My name isn't Half Turn, it's Alex. And uh, well, who knows how long we can go and keeping up with all these aliases. As you can tell, today, well, this week rather is half term, which is literally cram packed with screaming children. So, what a better way to, when the pieces are packed with kids than to go and have lunch. And as has been asked for several times by about two people, why don't you do a restaurant review, Alex? And to be fair, I tried doing a restaurant review, and after looking at the footage, it was really boring. So what better way of doing a restaurant review than to point out the top pretentious mountain restaurants in Courchevel. So without further ado, here we go. So of course, before we start, it is important to understand how to identify the restaurant that you are at is pretentious, if you didn't already know. First of all, it's expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, not all expensive restaurants are pretentious, but all pretentious restaurants are expensive. If the food you're eating is mediocre, I think that goes into the first point. Generally, if you look at a menu and half the things on the menu are covered in black truffle, putting black truffle on things does not in any way make that better. If you cover a Big Mac with black truffle, it's still a Big Mac. You can polish a turd all you want, but all you'll end up with is a shiny turd. You'll also notice, is the music so loud that you can barely hear yourself speak? Pretentious. When someone orders a bottle of champagne, does it arrive with more pomp and circumstance than a bottle of wine should really appear with sparklers and fireworks? Basically, are you trying so hard to say, I have got enough money to spend a thousand euros on a bottle of champagne to everyone who's sitting around you. Is the service terrible? Yeah, despite dropping thousands of euros at a place, basically, is the service absolutely not worth a tip at all? When you look around, can you see far too much Botox, silicone and lip filler? I think you know what I mean. So with this checklist in hand, here are my review of the top three, and I could only find three that really fit in all these categories. Uh, restaurants that I think are the most pretentious in Courchevel. So in third place, the original, the OG Cap Horn. Ever since I've been coming here since like the 90s, this was the place where if you wanted to see rich Russians, dancing on tables, spraying bottles of rosé from the owner's own vineyard and basically behaving, well, like they're allowed to. This is where you'd come. Over time, of course, it has been usurped by others and the third place. It still tries. You gotta hand it to them. Only a bronze medal. In second place and at the top of the Chenu lift, we have Bagatelle, one of these franchise restaurants, about 10 of them around the world. And this one up here, I guess the best way of describing it would be to say it's trying to be folie douce light. And as always, when you try to be, try to copy somebody, it generally doesn't work. What can I say about the pretentiousness? They've got a ski valet out front who will pick up and put down your skis for a tip. If you were actually, if you wanted a definition of pretentiousness in the, in the dictionary, uh, basically uh, that, that picture would be underneath it. I think that's enough said. Uh, yeah, moving on. Which of course means that in number one spot, we have 
Namos. Yeah, very Greek. What can I say that, apart from a level of service that I've never heard so many bad remarks about, the one that really comes to mind is the menus have the prices written in pencil. I think that says it all really. I believe the, the technical term might be subject to change. Anyway, yeah, if you want to read some amazing reviews for Namos behind me, uh, go and check out TripAdvisor, uh, links below. And uh, yeah, it's, it'll be a good giggle because, hey, most of the time they are super busy, which uh, means that they must be doing something right or wrong. So there you have it. Top three most pretentious restaurants, mountain restaurants in Courchevel. If you want to have a bit of a laugh, I've left the links to the TripAdvisor pages just below. They're well worth a read. There's some quite interesting reviews, so to speak. Anyway, on that, if you have something to say, leave a comment, give me a like, or the other one. And if you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.